and they are racing. Touch Revenge, Pine Knoll, also read the cliff notes. Robo Man, in fact, Cool House, these five right across the course as they run the first turn where Touch Revenge, racing well off the rail, has the lead by just about a length. Pine Knoll second. Read the cliff notes is third to the inside. Beatbox, savoring every yard from fourth, advances up a couple of positions as Robo Man parked out wide. Then it is Cool House from between horses. A credit is about six off the pace, racing mid flight, a length in front of Jungle Warfare. LeBlanc is next, still four back to Founder. That's the 10 of them up the backside they go with five furlongs to go. The quarter quick, 23 and three. Touch Revenge, a half a side. Pine Knoll can wait no more now, draws right alongside. Read the cliff notes to the outside third beatbox perfectly placed behind that trio from fourth cool house is fifth then a couple links for the back robo man uh, up to the outside uh, is gaining ground now then it's a credit shuffled between horses being ridden but running in place at this juncture leblanc to his outside jungle warfare is under heavy drive but not responding and founder warming up from the back of the pack 47 to 2 the time for the half mile there goes beatbox up and after touch revenge it's beatbox with the lead touch revenge is second up the inside, a credit is loose and charging. LeBlanc taking the overland route. Top of the home stretch and beatbox emerges with the lead. Touch Revenge is still fighting on. A credit now switches off these and is coming at him and coming on. 116th to go. And beatbox is opening up on pace setting. Touch Revenge as they race down to the wire. Beatbox jumped a shadow shortly before the wire, but still wins by almost two. Touch Revenge was second, a three-horse photo for the Miners involving LeBlanc, Founder, and a credit. Running time, 136 and three. Beatbox, now 